It shouldn't be a surprise that the Princess of Hyrule should be returning for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. Thus, the announcement of Zelda returning for the Wii U and 3DS version of the game wasn't that much of a surprise this week. What was surprising were the pictures and screenshots we saw. She has anger management issues, or she looks rather angry in most of her screenshots, which feels a little bit odd coming from Zelda, especially from a princess. It seems like she might have had a happier tone, or should have had, but in these screenshots she just looks really angry for some reason. We also noticed that we have the similar design look of Twilight Princess, so she's retaining the same look she had in Brawl that's slightly different from her design in Melee. I was slightly disappointed by this choice. I really wanted to see the Skyward Sword design in this game, especially since the color palette in Smash Bros. for Wii U is a lot brighter than it was in Brawl, so it makes more sense to go with the brighter blonde colored Zelda that was in Skyward Sword than it was in Twilight Princess. With that said, it looks like Zelda will be getting an altered moveset this time around, one that may not even include Sheik as a playable character, or if so, it may include Sheik as a playable character as a solely alone character that isn't part of Zelda's moveset. Why do I think this? Well, in one of the screenshots released for Zelda, we see a phantom armor, and it looks like Zelda's controlling it, very much like you would see Rosalina controlling Aluma. Maybe instead of having Sheik as a down special, we'll see Zelda use these armored phantoms as attack moves. A similar moveset is seen for Fat Princess in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale on the PS3 and Vita. She can summon little soldiers to do different attacks, and I thought perhaps Zelda might be getting the same treatment this time around in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. It's an interesting thought to think about. This could mean that Zelda's new moveset is altered upon this phantom armor, or maybe it's just an assist trophy. However, the way Zelda's positioned in the screenshot most likely suggests that it's part of her moveset rather than just an assist trophy. However, if the Phantom Armor really is part of Zelda's moveset, it has a very limited amount of attacks, as seen in both Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Meaning this would most likely just be a special attack for Zelda in which the Phantom Armor attacks with a sword in certain directions, and that seems rather boring to me. With that said, I'm curious to see what you guys have to think about this. So far in all the other screenshots, Zelda really isn't doing much of an attack really, she's just making awkward faces, most of them being mean or angry, and that's pretty much it with this whole phantom armor being really the only screenshot that shows her doing an attack. So I'm just curious to see what you guys think about the phantom armor. Do you guys think he's an assist trophy? Part of a brand new moveset for Zelda? And do you guys still think that Sheik is part of Zelda's moveset or maybe out of the game or just a completely new different character? Tell me all your thoughts in the comment section below. I personally think we'll be getting a new moveset for Zelda and perhaps Sheik is either gone or just a brand new character, very much like its own. And I'm presuming this will be the same thing with Zero Suit Samus. So that's our look at Princess Zelda for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. She has a much more serious angry tone to her. Also, she might be getting a new moveset. And most importantly, how could I forget this? The little front part of her dress, instead of being white, yeah, it's purple now. So major changes coming to Zelda, possibly. So be sure to hit up that comment section below with your own speculation of the brand new Zelda announcement for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. If you want us to do any other analysis videos on characters already announced or characters you'd like to see in this game, be sure to also tell us that in the comment section below. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to be informed whenever we release a new video here on the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next. Super! Hey guys, welcome to End Slate. On the left, we have a video of Marth, the veteran character in Super Smash Bros. Wii U. On the right, we have an analysis of Rosalina joining Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, it'll notify you when we release a new video. And we also have links to our Twitter and Facebook here on the screen and in the description of this video. I'll try not to disappear too long this time, I'm going to be back in the flow of making videos, so stay tuned for that in the future. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.